again here, I'm going to hit a draw. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim it at the flag. And I'm going to try to hit it at the flag and draw it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now if it doesn't draw, I'm at the flag. If it draws a lot or too much, I've got all that green to the left, I'm okay. So yeah, again, I'm, I'm, going to hit my, I'm going to try to hit my draw. That's the idea. But if I overdraw it, I've got a lot of room. And if I miss with a draw, the up and down's pretty easy. If I try to aim it way right into the bunker and draw, and it doesn't draw, and I leave it in the bunker, that's where that pin is. That's short-sided. That's a hard shot from that bunker. So I'm going to aim it right at it and try to hit just a little draw just to the left of the flag. Okay, so it started, it didn't hook. So where is it? It flew directly over the flag Right stick. over the flag. You actually just flushed it so, <laughs> a little bit. So I tried to hit a draw. It went pretty straight, right over the flag. And, you know, I've got an easy, I don't know if I, if I hit it over the green, that's unusual. That's a long ways for me to hit a seven iron. You did, yeah. It, 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 fl it flew over. You just, you just killed it. Okay, so you got a feel for the swing. No, I don't. There you go. There you Good go. job. Way to go. I didn't like that other one, but so I really want to. Okay, get a feel for whatever you're going to do. Once you kind of say, there's that kind of what I want. Now, all you're going to do is allow yourself to duplicate that feel. It doesn't matter where it goes. Focus on the feel. Oh, man. I hated that. I'm going to hit another one. I got one in my pocket. Oh, I hated that. Well, you just caught it on the toe. So what adjustment are you going to make here now? If we're going to hit another one, what are you going to tell me what you're going to do? What did you feel I, like? I just felt like I went out of it this way. You just have to really accelerate the, the arms more, I think. I think I just kind of got lazy and backwards. Okay. So I think I have to be more zippy and aggressive through the shot. Well, yeah, that's better. Good shot. So we're on the green. Yep. So, I mean, that's another way to practice is to come out with nobody here and play a couple of balls. Yeah. And you, you get up, you commit, you make a swing. If it works, you're done. If you miss hit, you put another ball down and you, you make an adjustment and, and you see if you can make it work. And that's how I used to practice when I was getting ready to go play. It was always, most of my practice was done on the golf course. Yeah, if you go out on a, you go out on a Tuesday to a tour event, you don't see anybody like, like with a scorecard, keeping score and stuff. They're like dropping a ball here or yeah, there. They're yeah, they're trying right. different lies and they're trying different things and they're making swings and they're kind of getting a feel for the course and their swing and what do they want to do and what shots do they want to hit. I mean, that's kind of where they're going with it. And so, um, when I used to play, I spent most of my time, yeah, I hit balls on the range, but if I was really going to practice, it was on the golf course because that was the golf course. I mean, that's where you got to play. So I liked practicing in the same environment I played in. All right, here, this will test my So, uh, Mike, on a shot like this, what are your expectations? Minimal. Minimal, all right. <laughs> That, that looks tough. Uh, I mean, like, what would you be happy with? Are you thinking about what you would be happy with, or you're just trying to think about impact? Or Well, no, happy with 10, 15 feet, 12 feet. Right. I'm trying to take short out of place, so I'm going to try to hit it high enough that and give them enough loft in the club. Spin, 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 spin. That was pretty good from oh, this that was line. Good. That was world class. So, I mean, I I opened the face enough, hit it high enough. If I'm going to miss, I'm not going to leave it short. So, you know, that was one of those. If I miss it, I'm going to let it get a little past the hole because it's a pretty easy chip or putt. Uh, oh, the hairy greens got I'm you again. I'm just babying it. It's about seven feet. 
as I walk it off. So left, I'm reading left center. So I aim the ball left center. And, and now, okay, I've picked my line. Make sure the line looks good. Aim the putter face. Set up whatever's comfortable. Roll the line. Oh. I mean, okay. Great. I hit a perfect effort. putt. I yeah. hit it just inside left edge, and it actually broke a little left. So I misread it, but I hit a good putt. So speed was good. Hit it solid. That's golf. So try to make your practice swing where you feel like that when you swing, that when you come down, you get right here, and you've got your right hand, your right hip, and the club. Feel like your right hip and your right arm and your right shoulder go through the ball together, rather than your hips getting way out of front and then trying to, to trying to catch it up. Now, the reality of feeling that, if you watch it on the video, it's going to look like your hips are going a lot faster. Mm -hmm. All right, see, I'm going to even hit a draw here, even though this hole's a a fade hole. Yeah. Uh, but I don't necessarily like that shot that much, so I'm going to aim it at the right, the left edge of that bunker, and I'm going to hit the same little draw that I hit on the other hole. Right edge of the bunker, or left edge of the bunker. A little draw right back in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, that was beautiful. It really came out of the center of the face. There you go. You're going to feel everything right hip, right shoulder, club, everything goes through the ball together. That was closer. That was closer. You caught a little on the toe. Yeah, I'm all over the face. What can I do to, to be better at? Well, that's that's a little spot, bit of practice, you know? and that's a little bit of backing off the speed. Right. We talked about this morning. I mean, there's a there's a fine line. Whatever reason today, I'm we're out here. I haven't played for a while. I'm getting it right in the middle of the face. So right I could here, probably, yeah. as we go here. If we kept playing, I might start putting, making a little more swing, hitting a little harder. As long as I keep finding the center of the face and the ball's curving the way I want it to curve, okay, let's add a little more. You know, but if all of a sudden I feel like it starts to get a little out of sync, I'm going to back off because I want center face hits and ball control more than an yeah. extra five yards. That's the priority for sure. Because, I mean, I hit it plenty far to do what I do. And if I'm on, yeah, I can dial it up and hit it further. But if I'm a little off, I don't want to hit it out of play. Uh -huh. It's hard to play from the condos. <sighs> well, I got, I've got about 135 to the flag, a uh, little into the wind. So, I mean, that's normally probably right between a pitching wedge and a nine iron. So I'll, I'm going to take a nine iron so I don't have to hit it hard. And that's also going to help me keep the ball down a little bit. Great shot. Great shot. Good shot. Looks like about 10 feet. All right, we got some snarly Bermuda here. You know, again, it's the same. When you watch tour players, when they have short shots, this is where they make the most practice swings. And, and what they're trying to do is they see where they want to land the ball, they look at the lie, and then they get set up to it, and they make practice swings, and they're trying to get the circle, the bottom out, perfect, so they hit the ball just right. And once they get a feel for the circle or where they want it, then they set up and what they do is they copy, they copy the circle. Now from that lie, I mean that was sitting in some real, no, that wasn't bad. Uh, so 
the, the deal there is when you hit chips, when I watch amateurs hit chip shots, when they're making practice swings, so let's say the ball's right here and they stand up and they're going to make practice swings and they're standing there and they're going like this. And the club's hitting way back here and then they sit up to the ball. I go, what are you doing? They go, what do you mean? I said, well, did you see your club hit the ground? Half the time they don't even know where it hit the ground. And if they do, they go, well, yeah, I know it hit behind it, so now I'm not going to hit behind it. I go, really? So what are you going to do to fix that? Yep. <laughs> so that's how you get the yip. So these tour players set up to this shot, and if they're going to make a swing, if they're going to hit a chip, they're making shot, and then they change their setup or move it so they can just let the club swing and it bottoms out correctly, and then they set up to the ball, and all they do is duplicate the circle. So I can now chip off a, a putting green and hit it solid. Yeah, I can hear the, the... So they're going to hit a shot here and they they're make their practice swing. If they make a practice swing and the club doesn't work right, they change their setup or do whatever they have to do to get the club to bottom out correctly. Then once they get the club to bottom out correctly, they move into the ball and all they do is they duplicate that exact same motion, that same circle. All right, good playing today, Mike. Thank Put her there. Pal. Thanks, folks. Good job. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, everybody.